What's going on YouTube fam? This is Marshall Extreme 360. Uh, today I'm going to be trying to answer a few questions from my other video. Uh, we're going to be powder coating today at Booth for a customer. Um, I already got some of the parts already sandblasted. I'm about to put them in the oven and do an outgas on them. It's a new aluminum so I just went ahead and sanded them but my air compressor is blowing a little water out, so I'm going to go ahead and outgas them. And I got the main chassis in here ready to blast. See, it's got all the little scratches in it and stuff. I'm going to take that coat off the top. So I'll do a time lapse on that because it's a little loud and it takes a while. So I'll be showing you that. I'm going to be spraying it with a prismatic coating. Um, the name of the powder is going to be um, satin, silk satin black from Prismatic. It's a good powder. That's my base powder. Um, I use, I'm going to use on my booth. The next one I'm going to do is going to be uh, Illusion Red. I'm going to try to trick it out a little bit, but I do custom colors. Um, if you want a custom color, it's $50 more on the price. Um, but you know, football colors, no matter what kind of color you want, we can get it. We can do candies. Um, because you want to be different than everybody else. But a lot of people want to know what comes with the booth. So I have this big motor here, and it comes with a battery, remote. Um, variable speed so you can adjust your speed and then you get a phone holder um, that's pretty much it you know you get all the rest basic stuff the arms and all that stuff but it's completely automatic and on my other video people was asking what light stand I use so this right here I'll put a link in the description for the light itself it comes with a tripod but I don't like the tripod because it takes up too much space. And I also run these off the same battery that I, I sell with the booth. Um, but this is just a, a mic stand. Um, I'm going to make this an illusion red on my next video. It's going to be nice. It's going to be glossy. Um, but it's just a mic stand. I, I picked this one up at Guitar Center. Um, $25. They're up and down between $20 and $25. But it's a good investment. Um, I've been having a cord that goes all the way down the pole, you know, but I'm going to try to mount one here. The, the little Sony batteries and the other batteries that goes in these, they, they, they're not worth anything. So don't waste your money on it. I, I spent a lot of money on batteries for this. That one 12 volt battery that I sell with the booth, you can get them on Amazon. Um, it's a pretty good battery. It lasts a whole event. It comes with a charger, uh, cable connections. And I usually take this connection here and, and, and incorporate it in the booth so I can plug it up to the booth itself. Um, but it's, this is a good battery. Um, I have about 14 of these. So I, I, I put them on all my lights. I even run my router off of this. Because um, I use software called TouchPicks. And um, you could do your own web server. And I can run, I can run my router off of that 12 volt battery. Well, anything 12 volt, this battery will run it. The booth only spins between five and eight seconds, so you, one battery lasts several events. But at, at the, each event, I just charge all of them. But um, I'll go ahead and um, blast this frame here and get it ready. She's ready. Got on the lazy Susan. I'm gonna try to film inside the inside the powder coat booth this time and see how it turns out. I had to add. I took the old um, dust collector comes with it. All I did was throw dust all over my shop, so I hooked the shop back up to it. So I'm trying not to burn it up and try not to overheat my air compressor. It's gonna get warm, but we're gonna make it happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this and give you an idea. But if you got any questions or anything like that for me, 
just um, leave them in the comments. I try to answer all my comments. This is my first like YouTube video, so I don't know how this shit gonna go, but we'll see. Um, but this channel is Marshall's um, Entertainment, which I'm gonna be doing more videos on. But I also have two other channels. I have um, Powder to Glaze, which is my powder coating um, channel. And I have Extreme 360 LLC. That's my actual business page for the 360s. But um, yeah, one more thing. Um, you've seen my other videos in the booth. This booth is not that tall. Don't, don't get fooled by them companies say we got the lowest and the lightest booth. With this booth assembled, it weighs 80 pounds with the whole package. I just shipped one to Chicago and it only weighed 80 pounds box. And that's with the arm, batteries, um, everything. Um, so don't don't let them companies fool you if you're, if you're in the market for one. Because, yeah, they might have a lower frame, which is not much lower than mine. And they have them little motors. And they don't last long. This right here, this motor can actually flip the whole booth if you let it. It's, 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 it's pretty big. It's a pretty big motor. And that's the only reason I, I don't want to change anything on mine because can't even compete to it. But they ask, you know, questions I get is, what's the weight capacity? Myself, I'm, I'm 220 pounds because I like to drink beer. But I can stand on this leg here and no deflection whatsoever. So you multiply that by eight and you have that weight across. And once you put the board on top of it, the shoring of all of the legs together, yeah, it'll, it'll hold a lot of weight. Um, I get between three or four people on. I have had five, but hell, actually five is probably the equivalent of two or three, because, you know, if you're getting five on, they're not that big of people. You know, the size of them is not that big. So don't get caught up on how many you can get on it. Um, on average, in all the events I do, um, I used to get three. Some families, sometimes I, I run a lot of four people at a time, but it'll hold them. Um, no, vibe, no shaking. But if you get carried away, it will be shaky, you know. But other than that, all of them shake. Um, but other than that, let me get to it. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll get back and talk to you in a little bit. touch I still see writing in that so I definitely got to get that but I've done this side cleaned it up pretty good um, I'm gonna do the bottom side and then I'll flip it over a little bit and get on the inside real good but other than that she's almost ready I'll go ahead and knock out a few more places in this one. yeah so I didn't get in there that good so I'll bring my flashlight in here this time and knock it out. But so far, she's looking good. Yep. Yeah. Get this thing into the coating. I'll get back to you. Well, I got everything powder coated. I mean, not powder coated, but I got it sandblasted. Now I'm about to do a little outgassing. I got all the parts 
inside the oven. You can't really see. Let me get a little closer. There and they're hanging up. I'll go ahead and set this down to 400. Go ahead and start it. And I got a ways to go. But everything's in there. Once I get out of there, we're gonna go straight to powder coat. So I'll come back in a few seconds, which will be really probably an hour, but my little homemade oven takes a while. But my wife says it looks ghetto, but it does trick. But everything's in there hanging, all the pieces. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, fam, we're about to spray these parts. They're finally at room temperature. So let me get to it. Try not to be too long. I won't film all the pieces, but I'll film the main piece. So I want to practice on the tight corners and all that. So um, this back side, this side here won't be seen anyway. So this is where I'll get most of my practice from. This is the side where the board goes on on both sides. So, But I like to have both sides looking pretty. But here we go. about to show you the finished product. I'm waiting on the customer to come pick it up. They're local. Um, but if you want one, you can order on my website um, or you can just call me and pick it up. Um, it'll save you some money on shipping. Um, they be taxing me, but you know, it's part of the business. Um, but get everything done. Have problems with my oven. You know, it's homemade, so that, that happens, but I'm going to add a pig control on it tomorrow when my pack and my equipment come in. I'm going to reorganize all my my eye units. Uh, my elements are in the back. I'm going to put two on the sides, on each side. Um, then I have the pig controller so it'll heat even. Um, right now, it's, most of the heat stays to the back, but um, yeah, hey, I'm proud of it though. I'll get rid of that controller there. That's just the oven controller. It can't handle, can't handle four eyes. So, uh, elements rather. Um, but this is this is she. She is right. Just raise up and down too. Um, I don't have a tighter button, but it extends pretty high. She looking good. This is my baby. Made in the USA. Thirty-eight inch. Um, the distance from the bottom to the top is almost nine and three quarters. So it was only nine and three quarters of an inch. So it's like a regular step. So it's not hard to get on or off. Hell, women with heels get on. My other booth, it was um, 11 inches, so they ain't have no problem with it. So, but hey, nice. I get all the feedback online, but I've sold 10 so far and nobody's complained. Um, hey, I love it. But my next one on paint frame, 
It's going to be all cherry, well not cherry, but a Illusion Red by Prismatic Powders. Um, it's going to be nice, um, a gloss. This here is, um, like I said in the other video, this is um, it's all dusty in here. It's all dust, but, but that is um, Silk Satin Black. Um, it just has one coat, um, but the Illusion Red, it's going to have two coats because I got to, the Illusion Red will be the base, and then, then I spray, spray a clear on it. Um, but she's looking good. But remember, um, go to my other um, page. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to do some content. This is my first actual video that I tried to film for content. So um, just give us some feedback. You know, I, any help. I'll, I'll take it, you know, any criticism. Um, but all you gotta do is use a damp cloth to wipe it down, you know. They look pretty in the beginning, but you know, you get scuffs and all that, but you can kind of buff scuffs off a little bit, but if you put a, a cover on top, you won't have no problem. Um, but, but just leave the comments down below if you got any questions. I try to answer all of them. Um, I had a lot of views on that one. I did, that was my second event. It was a birthday party. Um, it got a lot of a lot of feedback on it. Um, so I said, well, hell, let me give it some content. So, you know, I'm, these camera angles, I'll be messing up. I'm, I'm not big enough to have a, a videographer, so, but, and um, yeah, I, got, I took some footage the other day. I want to shout out my lawn care company. You know, they're, they serve all Metro Atlanta. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of it. Um, I told him I was gonna do it. He was out here doing my yard. Um, but when you're on Instagram, you see that that little that little meme says, yesterday's prices is not today's prices. Well, he hit me with that, but he does some good work and I just can't can't see myself going to someone else. But he is good and, and that's why I wanna shout him out. I, I love people that's doing stuff for themselves. Um, nice family, um, but I, I'll show that video clip in the, in the, in the end of this. Uh, you know, everybody has sponsors and all that. He's not, I pay him, so he he's not my sponsor, but um, but I like him. My wife likes him, um, so it's all good. So I'm gonna give him a shout out, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna do some more. I'm gonna try to do this thing, uh, it's, it's a pain. Uh, trying to get everything organized and trying to know what you're going to talk about. So give me them comments down below and that way I have something to talk about. Um, but I, I appreciate you. Um, and I got a lot of response on uh, all my sales came off of that birthday video. So, you know, at my events, you know, if you're thinking about getting into this, hey, do it because you need multiple streams of income and when you get to it, it's like having a party every weekend that you're invited to. You get to eat and drink and to see everybody have a good time. Um, it's easy money. Because once you get to an event, you see all the cameramen running around, the DJ got an MC and all that stuff. Then you see all the planners and decorators doing all the work. And you're sitting back like, man, I am getting over because I just push a button, you know, and, and that's it. And load my stuff up and I'm gone. And there's not no post processing because the customer's going to get their videos at the event. Um, touch picks, you can give them a link off on their website and they can download all the videos, which ones they want, you know. So it's, 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 it's a no brainer. Um, this is, I don't try it everything. Um, like I told my wife, kids, hey, I'm about to get into building booths. They say, oh, daddy's doing something else again. Uh, but but I, I love it. It's, it's it's you meet a lot of good people, and um and just to see the smiles in their face is rewarding. So hey, I, I drive Uber too, so I, I like I just like being around people. So but I enjoy it. Um, I hope I appreciate you if you support me. Um, just hit that like button, subscribe. Um, and hit up my other um, channels. This video here is gonna go actually my 360 video booth channel, but I had a lot of subscribers on this one, so, well, a lot to me is 100, so 
I don't even know if I got that many, but it's, it's all good. But no, just help the brother out. Um, like I say, um, I'm a veteran, black owned business, trying to make it happen, man. Um, I, I train you on, on the software that comes with it, but you don't have to wait on me to build your booth. Um, go to Touch Picks and tell a Marshall sent you, get you a, a free week uh, to try out. Um, you can't go wrong. Only thing this um, 360 do is this spins. It's nothing to do with your quality of your work or anything. It's just a tool to spin the camera. Um, so you just need to practice on the TouchPix software. And you'll be successful. You know, my business comes from my quality of my work. Um, um, Justing, you know, camera settings and all that and your lighting and you're in there. And that's it. So um, just reach out to me if you need help with it. Um, I don't mind. I enjoy the software. Um, Go to Touch Picks um, Facebook group. Um, some smart people on there. Um, they're pretty helpful. Um, they're here to help you be successful. Um, yeah, sometimes you're gonna have problems, but if if I told you a story of my first event, you're like, man, I would have gave up. But hey, I learned, and I just like using the software. Um, so give give them a shout out. Um, and tell them I sent you. I'm a moderator group. I've been absent for a little minute, but I'm about to get back active uh, with the group. Um, a lot of people just hit me up on DM anyway or Instagram when they have problems or message me, but I'm just trying to utilize the group. You know, use a search and you'll find pretty much anything you have questions with. Um, Some things, is, is, the apps changed a lot because I, I stick with what works for me um i never have no problem people getting their videos so i'll try to do a video on that also so you'll know so you'll be successful too um but um in the meantime between time you know y'all take care god bless peace